Hello Riverdale, class of 2017. It's Richard from Zeus Comics. This episode should have been titled, Why I'm Weird, a Weirdo, by Jughead Jones. Seriously, boy could not catch a break. No wonder he kept to himself for so long. His girlfriend mom sets up a dinner date that was an elaborate ruse. His best friends break into his dad's trailer. And his hopes of reconciliation with the dad, his mom, and his sister are dashed when his dad is arrested for murder. Oh, and he woke up to being an internet meme. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? That's weird. Our episode kicks off with Betty's mom, Alice, trying to enlist the aid of Betty and Veronica to do some snooping on her prime suspect in Jason's murder, Jughead's dad, FP. But Betty rightly shuts her down. Veronica, however, still questioning whether her dad, Hiram, hired FP to kill Jason, goes behind Betty's back and agrees to help Alice. Veronica then turns to Archie for help in the quest. Archie initially declines, but after Jughead shares his dad's earnest interest in Jughead's reporting on Jason's death, Archie decides to help Veronica by breaking into FP's trailer. For her part, Alice creates an elaborate dinner ruse to get FP and Jughead away from the trailer. And once again, Riverdale gives us a hot and heated dinner conversation, especially after a surprise visit from Alice's husband, Hal. Anytime you see a dinner plan on Riverdale, expect the worst. I mean, a dark, delicious dish. Oh, and for some reason, prom and an all-year high school reunion are on the same night, but whatevs, it puts all the suspects in one room, except Polly, who's been drugged by Mama Blossom for creeping around the Blossom house, because drugging a pregnant teen is kinda normal for Riverdale. And does pregnant Polly even go to school? That's one heck of a maternity leave program. Those wigs from last episode's tease didn't pan out, except to suggest that Clifford Blossom was hiding something, like Polly's engagement ring. The Blossoms, however, spin a yarn about Jason throwing the ring back at them in anger prior to his death. Speaking of death, I have a new suspect. Shortly after Veronica and Archie leave FP's trailer and head to the prom to perform an awesome cover of Kids in America, Sheriff Keller, on a tip, searches FP's trailer and discovers a box containing the murder weapon, something that wasn't there when Archie and Veronica searched FP's earlier. So right as the news hits the prom about FP's arrest, Kevin is giving Joaquin an intimate heart-to-heart -heart about Joaquin being the first date he's taken to a dance, ever, almost suggesting it's too good to be true. And as the commotion begins outside, the camera stays on Joaquin, and we see him walk in the opposite direction. Is it Joaquin? He certainly inserted himself into every possible place to keep an eye on everyone, like his FP's confidant, or a Chef Carroll's son's boyfriend, or the high school kids. He's also the only seemingly normal character on the show. Plus, I don't think the Riverdale producers would take out any of their star characters like Betty or Cheryl or even any of the parental units who now have their own drama to bring into next season. Now, I'm not saying someone didn't pay Joaquin to kill Jason. And as much as Jason was getting around town, I'm not even excluding a Joaquin-Jason romance as a possible motive. In any case, our new episode trailer gets the Riverdale gang back together on a quest to clear FP's name. And are they watching a recording of Jason's Blossom murder on that laptop? Two episodes remain as we get closer to solving the crime. It's a new Riverdale, Anatomy of a Murder.